Hey guys, how are you doing? So here we go, a uh, beautiful morning. Look at that big fat red with the uh, with the Zilliqa. And Bitcoin is also hey, going down, man. You know, it's just, uh, I, I love it. You know, I, the reason I, I like this stuff, right? And I get really excited during these periods is because I am prepared for all of this. I'm always prepared, okay? Now, how do you prepare? The one thing that I do to prepare is and I, I use the art of consolidation, right? I know there are multiple things I use, but this is one key thing. Buying the bottom and selling the top is really hard. It's very difficult to call the exact top, very difficult to call the exact bottom. But if you follow the very simple rules of investing and trading, you'll be better prepared for this sort of thing, right? Do not, I, I will repeat, always be greedy when people are fearful, always be fearful when people are greedy. Now, the key here, the important thing here is that's a mindset you don't it, what i mean here is you don't have to start selling the minute you think the price spikes a little bit you do that you'll get destroyed don't start buying when you see a dip if you do that you'll get destroyed because it will dip even lower but what you can do you can start to prepare put yourself in a position just in case things rocket rocket really high or dive really low and once you get yourself prepared you will do well overall okay so let's talk about what i've been saying here a month ago Time to buy crypto moon shoot, you know, bullish signals spotted, get in, right? And this was over a month ago, right? Not just last week. However, two weeks ago, I was saying, look, why Bitcoin cash, cash, <laughs> Bitcoin cash, why Bitcoin cash pump is bad, incoming crash is possible, right? You know, prepare for the, for the bull market, for the, why is this video uploading? I need to delete this, <laughs> right? But prepare for the upcoming uh, cryptocurrency beer market. This market here, this this is this is actually the video that I'm recording right now. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Um, anyways, what I started to do, right, previously, is I started to consolidate. Now this is this is the beautiful this is a beautiful technique you can use, right? Uh, if you don't know the top, that's fine. Nobody knows the top. But what you can do is when the prices start to rise do not increase your exposure by that i mean don't go buy new coins don't do it right what you do is you start selling the coins but don't sell it to cash don't sell it to bitcoin take 10 of your cryptocurrencies that you believe in and consolidate to maybe three or some of the coins that you don't believe in and put them into the ones that are good do this bit by bit as the market goes up don't do it one suit but slowly do it bit by bit so what i was doing essentially is that i bought zilliqa i bought eos i bought ethos about all those coins really cheap back down here and as the price started to rocket i slowly took some profit from eos i put it into zilliqa i also took some profit from polymath put it into zilliqa and i slowly did this bit by bit by bit what i'm doing is that i'm reducing my exposure reducing my risk i'm not exiting the cryptocurrency market i'm still making the gains because zilliqa is rocketing but i am getting prepared to exit now the beautiful thing is even though at that point it doesn't mean i'm out of the market it, what it does mean is that if there is a sudden crash, I don't then have to struggle to go to my my, my wallets and start sending things to KuCoin and Binance and Bitrex and all these exchanges. You know how long it takes to really sit back and start doing all that stuff. It's a nightmare, right? But if I do it when things are slowly rocking up, going up and no one's paying attention, then it's going to work out really well for me. Now, once again, the the, the the key here is that you're not as in the market, you're going into the stronger coins and you're reducing your risk by holding two or three coins compared to holding 10 or 20. Now, what I did is that when Zilliqa got to top, I got out. Now, I didn't quite get this juicy top. I wish I did, damn it, right? But I got out just above 2200 and that's pretty good, right? So I exited the market and now the price is just dropping. Now, I've got two choices. I can either buy this dip right now or I can wait for it to drop a bit lower. That's totally my decision. That's everybody else's decision. You gotta. It's very difficult to call the exact bottom. You know, this is not the point of this video. The point is that I consolidated and I exited in one swoop. Now, the question is, do I exit Bitcoin? Now, I should have exited Bitcoin, but the market is moving way too fast, right? It moved faster than I had a uh, chance to. So, um, like I said, and, and this is, and once again, this is, this is a good example of how quickly the market can turn against you, right? It can turn really, really quickly. And if you are holding a lot of coins when the market is making this movement, just like back here in, the, in January, when Bitcoin was at uh, 19,000 and it started to dive really fast, there was no way that everybody was 
was able to get all their cryptocurrencies to the exchanges and start selling to Bitcoin and Cash and Tether too fast. It, it happened too quickly. But if you start to consolidate before the crash, then you can exit in one quick swoop, right? So I've got to make a decision here now whether or not, whether I should exit completely. Uh, I don't think I will. I'll probably wait for a bit of a jump and then maybe sell at a resistance point and then patiently wait and 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 uh, then see what happens. Now, what how? It's one thing that will go through your mind is what if your altcoins start to rocket? Nope, the un, the chances of them start to rocket is very low because they are already at their peak, right? And because it's already at their peak and Bitcoin is showing uh, some weak weakness here, people are going to start selling. You're going to start seeing you're going to start seeing a lot of this, a lot of this across a lot of coins, right? It may last a day, two days, three days, whatever. It may not last forever. But you're going to see a lot of this, so you don't have to be worried about missing gains on your altcoins because the altcoins are going to start to dump, right? Now, that's, 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 let, me folk, let, me, let me stress here. Uh, nobody knows what the bottom is going to be, and the bottom may be just, maybe a, just a, a day dump, right? You just drop maybe 20% or something, maybe 15%. But the point I'm trying to make here is that you don't have to worry about, like, for example, Zilliqa is not going to turn, it's unlikely Zilliqa is going to turn around and rock it another 70 percent at this point more than likely it will stay around this level start to consolidate a bit and then go up again so you don't have to worry too much right so uh, once once again one thing you have to pay attention to right when like, like i said two weeks ago why bitcoin uh why bch pump is bad you know when you see coins like bitcoin cash starting to pump that's when you start consolidating because what this is showing and for example yesterday dead coin was up Forty-seven percent. Come on, guys. Dentacoin. When Dentacoin, when all these shitty coins like Dogecoin or whatever start to pump really high, man, get get out, right? At least I'm getting out because what this is showing, this is telling you one important thing: people are taking profits from their really, really good coins like Wanchain and Ethos and 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 Cardano and EOS and all these really good coins, and they're risking. They're gambling and putting it into Dentacoin, Dogecoin, Redcoin, all these shitty unknown coins. People are getting way too excited. And be greedy when people are fearful. And be fearful when people are greedy. All right, guys, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will check you next time.